Hey y'all, my name is Ashley and today I'm sharing my Sephora wish list. So I thought about doing a recommendations, but I haven't really been buying a lot of products from Sephora. I was trying to, I'm going to try better next year, but I'm going to go for a, a low buy, but I do have a Sephora wish list, and it's pretty long. And if you would like to see what's on my wish list, then keep on watching. Okay. So with my wish list does not mean I'm buying everything off this list. So these are things that I have liked and they've just kind of sat in my cart. And some of these items I will buy during the Sephora sale. And some of these items I will just probably move back to my loves list. All right, as I scroll through my phone, I'll go ahead and insert some of the images here. But let's see what the total of my Sephora cart is currently. So I have 18 items in my Sephora cart. And the total is the low, low, low amount of $650, which actually could be worse. I, I would not drop $650 right now on everything in my cart. I, I wouldn't do that. The holidays are coming. I'm going through a divorce. These things aren't easy. These things aren't cheap. So, and I also don't put like my wants over my kids. So I wouldn't see myself ever blowing $650 in one go at Sephora. It's just a lot. But I do want to share what's on my wish list. So I want to start off with a couple items from Patrick Ta. So this is the Patrick Ta and Barbie blush duo and lip plumper set. So this is $64. I love Patrick Ta blushes. Um, I have all of the holiday blush palettes that he's released in the past, along with, a, I think, two or three of the blush duos in the single compact, which is what this is. It's just a beautiful Barbie pink, and it comes with a plumping gloss. I have a couple plumping glosses. I think they're all the same shade from Patrick Ta. I like those as well. This is one of those items that I'm definitely picking up during the Sephora sale because I, I know I'm going to love this product and the bright pink is so nice for that cold girl look and the holidays are like here. Okay. Yesterday was Halloween. Today is Christmas. It is what it is. Okay, so another item from Patrick Ta that's on my wish list is actually a plumping gloss duo. And that is because I really like this dark vampy shade in here, but I'm concerned that that hot pink shade is the same shade that's going to be in the other lip kit. But I really want this dark vampy shade as well, and I don't like the other colorway, like the lavender gloss. It's not going to look good on me. I love dark lips. I love red lips. Like, those are my go-to shades. But this is $39. It actually has a $52 value. Like this is a good like value because they're both full size glosses. And I don't know if I'm going to pick this up. I want to pick this up. It just depends on how badly I really want a dark plumping lip gloss. I really want one. Oh, I got another Patrick Ta item. I enjoy Patrick Ta Beauty. The only thing that I was never impressed by was the highlighters and I never bought one. But when I went into Sephora and touched them, I was like, not for me. But this is something that I want and I'm hoping I can get. And it is the Major Dimension Eye Illusion Eyeshadow, Eyeshadow Duos. So you get two eyeshadow duos for $42. I'm pretty sure everyone on the internet has heard about this because apparently $42 is a lot of money for an eyeshadow, eyeshadow duo. I don't have a problem spending $42 on two eyeshadows if the quality is good. So for me, it's always about quality. Um, I believe these are going to be fantastic, which is why I want them. The colorway that I am eyeing is the We Need Better Lighting. And it's got the like the white pearl sparkle and then you got a golden sparkle. I think it would be perfect for the holidays. You know, silver and gold, holiday looks, icy, all of that. This would be the product I would want to get to try these. And then later down the road, I do like the look of the pink one, which is the I'm with her and it's got the rose gold sparkles in there. So you got like a rose gold and it looks like you get like a not so Barbie pink, but you still got a more vibrant pink. So I'm only going to buy one if I buy one. But if I like them down the road, I do see myself buying them. OK, I think this is the final Patrick Ta product. And the reason this is on my list is I really want to pick up a new foundation during the Sephora sale. So I don't know if it's going to be this one or a different one, but I do want to try the Patrick Ta Major Skin Hydro Luxe Luminous Skin Perfecting Foundation for a Natural Glow. 
So I currently use the Makeup by Mario. I feel like these are gonna be kind of like an equivalent within foundations. Like the Makeup by Mario Surreal Skin is a glowy foundation. I love that one. I'm running low. So I could choose to repurchase that one or I could try a new one. So this does retail for $58. The only problem I had is when I did the shade finder, they couldn't find a shade match for me. And I was like looking at their shades and I'm usually a medium neutral, but like the shade that I would have to get would be a medium olive or a medium peach. And so that kind of throws me off on getting it because I don't want to look pink. And I always go for a neutral because I'm trying to balance out the yellow in my skin. So that's the only problem I see within this foundation. I honestly haven't watched anyone review this. I know it's not like super new, but I know it's still newer but I'm interested in this, and this is $58. So another foundation that I'm interested in is the Huda Beauty Easy Blur Airbrush Foundation with Niacinamide. I love Niacinamide in my primer, and I feel like it helps with my acne, so I feel like if I have it in a foundation too, your girl may be acne free. I doubt it, but it would be nice. So this is $37, and I, I don't know how many shades they've got. I'm not counting all the squares. They've got a nice shade selection here. And it looks like I can easily match my skin tone with this because I have other Huda Beauty foundations. I have a stick foundation. I have the faux filter foundation. I like Huda Beauty's products and her foundations. So I feel like I wouldn't be disappointed with this product, which is why it's on my list. Because I love Huda Beauty, I could not help but put this on my wish list. This is the Icy Nude Eyeshadow Palette. I have all of the Huda Beauty big palettes, I think, besides the ones that were in cardboard packaging. But I have all like the ones from the last maybe four or five years. I'm kind of heartbroken that she's no longer gonna be coming out with 18 shade eyeshadow palettes. So the collector in me feels like I need this, but I also like the idea of icy looks for the holidays. So this is $69 like originally. And I haven't seen any, I know it only just came out. I'm hoping it doesn't sell out. I'm filming this a few days before I make my Sephora purchase, but this is one of the items that I'm definitely picking up. And the last thing I have on my list from Huda Beauty is the Easy Blur Primer. So it's a silicone-free smoothing pore minimizing primer. I love getting the silicone-free ones because they play really nicely with my sticky bases. So with the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip, with the e.l.f. What's the e.l.f. one called? Power Grip? Like those silicone free pore filling pore blurring whatever primers play nicely with those and though even though I like have a pore blurring one that I really like from Iconic London I can't use a gripping primer with it because it gets all peely because of but you got your water base you got your silicone base they obviously don't mesh really well together I like the idea of having this because I have the blur jam and I really like the Blur Jam, and I noticed the Blur Jam's no longer on Sephora's website, but it is on Huda Beauty's website. But I'm also confused because Huda Beauty is gonna be going through a revamp soon, so I don't know what products I'm gonna be able to purchase, repurchase, or what. But this Easy Blur Primer does look really nice to me, and it's only $29. So I have two products on here from Glow Recipe, and one would be a repurchase and that is going to be the Cloudberry Bright Essence Toner and that's for $38. This is the toner I like to use it for my nighttime skincare routine. The other one I like to use, I actually have a full bottle so I actually don't know, don't need to like re-up on it for this Sephora sale. I just really like this primer. So this is actually a product that I most likely am purchasing because I'm running low. I like how it works on my skin. It does help with dark spots. I have acne, dark spots come with acne. It's a great toner for me. The other product from Glow Recipe I have never tried, and it is the Blackberry Retinol Blemish Serum. I don't think I have to explain why this is on my wish list, but I have acne. I would like something that would help with my acne, okay? And I love Glow Recipe. I have so many products from Glow Recipe within my skincare routine. So adding this in, I feel like it will play well together. I feel like it's gonna work for my skin. There's only one product from Glow Recipe I cannot stand, and it is that AHA BHA Strawberry Smooth Primer. It smells horrid, which is why I can't use it. But a blemish serum with retinol in it has got my attention, and that is $48. So with the skincare, there's actually two products from Laneige, and it's 
Honestly, I don't know if I'm gonna get these or not because I kind of just want them because they're gonna smell like candy canes. And I love like the peppermint smell for the holidays. I love candy canes, I like peppermint mochas, I like anything to do with peppermint. I even decorate my kitchen with candy canes, I love it. So this is the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm in the scent Candy Cane and that is $19. And you can get these two in a gift set but I want full sizes. So the other one is the Lip Sleeping Mask with Intense Hydration and Vitamin C. And that is also in Candy Cane Swirl. So, do I need another lip mask? No. Do I need one that smells like candy canes? Yes. So I have a few items on my list that are actually currently in the sale section at Sephora. So one of them is, a few of them are actually from Give by Gwen Stefani. I love the lip products from Give by Gwen Stefani, which is why this is on my wish list because I don't have this color. And this is the I'm Still Here Longwear Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Space Buns. Oh, that's convenient. I got Space Buns today. But it's a bright orange red. I don't have this shade. I like all the shades that I have from Give. And I don't know if like the brand's discontinuing, so I have this need to just buy it now before I lose the opportunity to buy it. I also have the Can't Stop Staring Mascara in my wish list, and that's because it is a mascara that I use all the time. So I use that in the YSL Lash Clash. They actually work really nicely together. But it's currently on sale for $14, and I will be really disappointed if they discontinue this mascara. The other item from Give is the Check My Glow Multidimensional Illuminating Highlighter. So the shade that I put in my cart is Platinum Cowgirl. And this has actually been on my wish list for a while, so even before it was on sale, but it's currently on sale for $21, so the idea of getting it 20% off that is probably gonna end up in a Sephora box mailing to my house next week. I have two different gift sets. So one's from Danessa Myricks Beauty, and it is the Yummy Skin Forever Flushed Lip and Cheek Set. And it comes with four different of the Yummy Skin like Balm formulas I have two blushes in that formula already, but these are a little bit darker. So we got the shades, the shade Dancing Queen, Red Velvet, Spice Latte, and Jubilee. These are all perfect like fall and winter shades. And I think two of them are full size and two of them are minis. And it's only $35. I feel like that's a really good value and I don't wanna miss out on having that set because I know I like the formula and I really like the Dancing Queen shade. The other set, gift set I have in my cart, which I don't know if I'm gonna get it or not, but it is a great value, and it's from Tarte. It's their Maracuja Juicy Lip Balm Duo. So they have like the, the plumping one, they have all different ones on Sephora's website. The one that I have in my cart specifically is the one that comes with the shades Rose and Passion Fruit. And like I'm on the fence if I'm gonna get this. It's on my wish list, but it's a $52 value. For $29. You get two full size of these clicky pens. Do I need more clicky pens? No, but do I want more clicky pens? Yes. There are two items from Sol de Janeiro on my list. And this is a product I usually buy every year, but I might skip out on buying it this year because in the spring I got the Beja Flora one, which I'm starting to think I like that scent more than this one, but they came out with their Biggie Biggie Boom Boom Cream. And I do like this smell, but I'm like I said, I'm starting to like the pink one more. So for years, I've always bought this during the Sephora sale. It's a great value. It's $85, but it's got a $109 value. It's a massive container of Boom Boom Cream. It comes with a little green surfboard so you can get all the lotion out, which I like those because I've got long nails. I don't like getting lotion underneath them. So I use them for all of my lotions now. That is on my list, along with a product that's currently on sale from Sol de Janeiro, and that is from the summer. And it is the Rio Radiance SPF 50 Shimmering Body Oil Sunscreen. So I have this in the regular, like the same as the Boom Boom Cream smell. So I do like this in the summertime. I'm on the fence if I wanna get it or not, like will it still be good for next summer? I'm, I'm not gonna be needing it right now, I mean, I guess I could, it's like 89 degrees here in Houston today, but I like that Rio Radiant smell. So like, kind of want it, I don't know yet, but it's on sale currently for 
and it was originally 38. So I'm like, well, I can get 20% off. So the last item on my wish list is a perfume. Well, I have another perfume on my wish list, but I know I'm not gonna pick it up because I'm not spending $405 on a fragrance. And that's the Tom Ford Cherry, okay? That's always on my wish list. But this one is possible for me to buy. And this is from Gucci, and it's the Flora Gorgeous Orchid. I like the Magnolia one, I really like the Jasmine one, and I, I like the pink one as well. I just kind of forgot what that one's called. I have a bigger bottle of the Jasmine. Um, I want a bigger bottle of the Magnolia. But what I like to do is before I buy the bigger bottles, I like to just buy like the travel size. And once I finish a travel size, I know I'm like, okay, I like that fragrance. I'm going to buy a full size. So this is like the one in the yellow container. It's $39. It's like the same price of all the Gucci roller balls. But I like, I like my Gucci fragrances. I never thought I'd be one of those girls. So I want to try this one. I know this was a shorter video and it, I didn't have like exciting wish lists. I'm sure there's other people who have like massive wish lists and all these exciting palettes and products and stuff like that. But this is like realistically the things that I do want from Sephora. So if you like this video, go ahead and like and subscribe and comment down below what products you're picking up from the Sephora sale if you're shopping the sale. But until next time, bye y'all.